we've really capitalized on the experience that we had on the 15K and just made it bigger and badder and more powerful. You can actually take a 15K and swap this into, into place, but you can deliver a lot more power from this on the AC side. So with the 18K, you can get the true 18K from battery only, even if there's no solar coming in. 100% correct. This unit will be uh, one of the most cost-effective dollar per kilowatt hour deployed system when paired with a Renon or a Discover battery system. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is North America's largest solar conference here in Las Vegas. This morning I'm joined by Quinn Weber from Solark, and we're going to be looking at the brand new Solark 18K hybrid inverter. So Quinn, it's good to meet you. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's good to meet you, Joe. I'm, I'm really happy to talk about uh, one of the biggest units we've ever made uh, for the residential side. So yeah, yeah. Well, I understand it was just released, I guess, officially today. Officially today. Um, of course, you know our audience is familiar with the the, the older the Solark 8K, the 12K, and then more recently the 15K. So tell us, what's new with with the new 18K hybrid inverter? Well, we've really capitalized on the experience that we had on the 15K and just made it bigger and badder and more powerful. So. The 18K can actually produce 18 kilowatts straight from the uh, battery. So the 15K could produce 12 kilowatts from the uh, battery and then an additional three kilowatt PV boost. So from batteries, this is 50% larger. Um, and we delivered that in a package that's about two inches taller and two pounds heavier. So very similar physically. You can actually take a 15K and swap this into, into place, but you can deliver a lot more power from this on the AC side. And on the DC side, you can actually take 32.4 kilowatts of, uh, of solar and hook this up to uh, to 36 amp MPPTs. So it's a, it's a very capable on the DC side as far as building very large solar arrays. Yeah, I mean, that's a much higher capacity than what we've seen with previous generation hybrid inverters. So let me just run that back with you. So, so with the 18K, you can get the true 18K from battery only, even if there's no solar coming in. 100% correct. Okay, and I, I should really should mention that that means, of course, the battery itself has to be able to support that amount of amperage. So typically that's gonna be a multi-battery system, right? Yeah, 100%. So part of partners like Renon um, or a couple other of our uh, battery partners, you're, you're really looking at there's no battery in the market that can deliver uh, 18 kilowatts uh, continuously, uh, really at all. So really we recommend two to three batteries per inverter. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I know Renon just put out a, uh, an excellent plus battery. I think it's 16 kilowatt hour storage per battery, which would do up to 200 amps per battery. So basically a two or three battery system is what I would be recommending if you're talking about a, a true whole house backup. And of course, if you're investing in an inverter with this kind of capacity, typically you're gonna be talking, talking about a larger home that has heavier loads like central air conditioning and, and so forth. Yeah, really, really this is designed as a premium unit for very large scale residential homes or even small commercial applications is where this we see this unit working. Um, now having said that, the reason that this is coming out is we saw that about 20, 25% of our 15Ks are installed in parallel uh, operation. And so what we decided was that there is a market for these larger uh, types of installation. Uh, now the 18K, you can actually parallel 12 of these units in parallel. So you could have extremely large capable solar arrays and, and, and uh, backup systems. Uh, but yeah, just, just more power. It's always bigger in Texas. Yeah, sure, sure. So is the, is the intention then with this model that, that your, your typical home for whole house backup, your typical home could be serviced by a single inverter and then just multiple battery units as needed for storage? Yeah, your typical average to large scale home will have a single 18K unit, right? Um, there are many homes that are just fine on a 15K, uh, but really, you know, when you're getting into the 15K with large AC units, with multiple AC units, that's where the 18K can come into play, is, is those large scale uh, multi-AC unit homes. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Figure. If you're considering financing the purchase of a solar or battery storage system for your home, then you need to take a look at the new Figure home equity line of credit. The Figure HELOC offers a lower fixed interest rate, no dealer fees, flexible payment terms, auto pay discount, and multiple draws if you need to expand your system in multiple phases. Loans are available up to $400,000 and interest may be tax deductible, saving you thousands compared to a traditional solar loan. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to avoid all the hidden fees and higher rates of solar loans, then check out the Figure HELOC. You can go directly to the Figure website or click the link in the description below, apply online in as little as five minutes and get funding in as few as five days. Okay, now let's talk about the MPPT inputs on the solar side. You said you can go up to 31 kilowatts? 30, 30, 32.4 kilowatts. 
Each MPPT is rated at 36 amps. Okay. So what that's going to enable you to do is, one, we were seeing some bidirectional uh, or bifacial panels that were uh, exceeding the capacity of the 15K in terms of current that was clipping the current. And so with a 36 amp MPPT, on some panels you can actually do three strings into an MPPT. You can parallel on a combiner box with fusing and then bring it down to the, uh, to the inverter. Um, or if you have these large impacity uh, panels, this will easily handle any panel in, in a two panel configuration or a two, uh, two string and parallel configuration. Okay, what, what's the operating voltage range then for your PV input? Is it still that, that three to 500 volts? Yes, so the, 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 the VOC uh, range or the operating current or operating voltage range is the exact same as the 15K. That has not been adjusted. It's just the current that is increased, which allows that additional uh, kilowatt capacity. Makes sense, makes sense, okay. Uh, now, in terms of the internals, can we can we take yeah, a look absolutely. inside the unit the, here? Got this. So it's the it's the almost the identical to the 15k that you know and love. One of the changes we made was rotating the uh, the, the bar there to um, allow for a little easier installation. Okay. Um, but other than that, I mean, again, it's got same number of MPPT inputs. Uh, um, really, not a lot has changed from the 15k as far as capacity. Um, you could actually take this unit and swap it right into a 15K spot and again, deliver 50% more power. And this still includes a full 200 amp pass-through? Full 200 amp pass-through, correct. Okay. Very cool, and then of course you still have your, your generator, dedicated generator input. Yep. So you've got your, your load out, you've got your AC input. Yep. Now is this where you would do for your AC coupling as well, if, if you were yep. AC coupling to existing solar? Exactly, AC coupled to your, to your gen port. Okay. What other features and capabilities here? Is there any, any load control built into the unit or would that be a separate? Uh, I, so we do have the, the ability to shed the gen port at specific SOC. So there is limited, we call it limited load control, right? So you can use okay. that as a smart load capability, but it is a single unit smart load control. There's no additional smart load capabilities that the 15K uh, didn't have. So if we were to use the generator port as, as the you know, a smart, smart controlled AC load, what would be a typical load? Like an EV charger or a hot yeah, tub? Yeah, we see a lot of EV chargers, hot tubs. That's a great example. Anything that is gonna potentially exceed um, you know, a, a really high abnormal usage or uh, we see it also you know, there's the ability to use this as a smart EV charger for instance, it, you can use it, you can turn on that port when solar is above a certain capacity. So if you want to charge from the sun or turn on a load when the sun is available, you can utilize the gen port for that kind of functionality. That's cool, okay, great. Uh, well, Quinn, is there anything else that the audience should know about the new Solark 18K? Um, no, I mean, we've got some really great battery partners. I think one of the things that Solark is uh, has struggled with in the past was really getting our battery pricing down because that's not an internal metric. And so now that we've got some really aggressively priced and really capable battery partners coming to market, Renon and Discover and Basco, um, we've, we're able to drive this. This unit will be uh, one of the most cost effective dollar per kilowatt hour deployed system when paired with a Renon or a Discover battery system. So as far as um, you know, the dollar per kilowatt hour or the dollar per kilowatt, we're really trying to, we're hearing the customer's concerns that that has uh, uh, been a, a hit on Solar, and we're um, trying to address it moving forward. Good to hear. Well, I think that's one of the advantages with this, with this hybrid inverter architecture is if you, if you can buy the inverter once, the single inverter is going to handle up to 30 kilowatts, 30 plus kilowatts of solar. The single inverter can handle, you know, for a typical home, I'm going to say probably 30 to 40 kilowatt hours of storage, but you're only buying the inverter once. Then you're buying the much lower cost battery modules right. to increase your storage. You don't have to buy an inverter on top of that. Whereas, let's say with like an AC coupled battery, like a Tesla, well, let's say like a Franklin, Franklin, let's yeah. say like a Franklin battery, for or example, you're, you're buying more inverter capacity every time you want, you're buying more, more battery storage as well. Whereas with this, yes, it's going to be an in investment for the, the hybrid inverter, but yeah. once that's in place, you can expand your solar, you can expand your battery storage at a much lower incremental rate. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we really believe in is decoupling kilowatts from kilowatt hours. So having a, a dynamic kilowatt to kilowatt hour ratio um, is something that is, I think, uh, an inherent benefit to any uh, hybrid inverter market, but something that we really believe in. So folks, this has been a chat with Quinn Weber. He's the residential product manager at Solark, and we've been looking at the brand new Solark 18K. Uh, Quinn, thanks for taking time to thanks, chat with Joe. us. It's been great meeting you. Good meeting you. Uh, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product announcements like this coming out, you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.